Hey guys, it's Lex here with another fragrance review. So, today I'm covering a house that is so fucking underrated it's almost criminal. It's the house of Chiruti. This one is one of the sort of, it's regarded as the best Chiruti scent ever made and it's one of the ones that not a lot of people know about. So this is Les Sons de Chiruti from the house of Chiruti released in 2009. I really seem to be loving that year. The last one week came out before this and then only the brave people seem to think I love this year. It was a damn good year for fragrances, I'll be honest. So, let's get started. Bottle design. So, I'm just going to adjust the camera here. Okay, good look at the bottle. I absolutely love the bottle. It's simple, but... Oh, the camera. Why is autofocus turned on? Please let me manual adjust it, you son of a bitch. There we go. Less on stage here, T. Information on the bottom on a sticker. Have a Chiruti logo on the top. It's simple and it looks nice. A little bit of dust there. It just looks really, really classy. It looks like I paid a lot more than I actually did for it. I really like it. So, just this back. <laughs> yeah, because I've got my new microphone sort of standing up now, I have to sort of bend to adjust the, which is a pain. And of course, it's stereo, so if I move left, right, it's a. <laughs> so, how's the sprayer in this one? Let's try it out. Not a bad spray at all, pretty damn good. Yeah, so this one goes for about 10, 10, about 20 pounds I think it was, was. 25 pounds I think this was for the 50 mil, I cannot remember, but I think it was about that price. And really, um, for, for the quality of this scent, it's fantastic. So let's have a sniff. Now, my previous review of this, I said it was sort of like raspberries and leather. And that's what I literally got, and I still sort of get a berry leather vibe. Well, it's actually, pardon me, no berry notes in this at all. In fact, it's sort of citrusy with some saffron and then woody notes underneath. But it smells really, really nice. Um, it really could pass as a, 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 DA, a Dior home or a loam flanker. Except this actually lasts. <laughs> but it's, it smells really, really good. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Um, if someone told me this stuff went for about... 60 quid a bottle, I wouldn't really be surprised. It really does smell outstanding. It's a really good scent. Uh, I, I mean, I get, I've looked at the notes and stuff, you know, it's got that citrus part with it, but really I just think of if it's sort of um, fruity berry leather, that's what I think of. It's almost got a mint note in there, I'm not sure if it's a saffron. I suck at notes, that's why I try and describe scenarios and such. But yeah, gorgeous smell, I mean, really. Fantastic. I can see why this is regarded as the best because um, it's 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 incredibly well made. I absolutely love the smell. There's not many things I've sniffed that sniff just the smell that sniff that smell just like this. So let's move on to performance. Performance with this one. If you're expecting performance on par with 1881, you're not going to get it. It's not bad. Um, I get um, longevity wise, it's about six to eight hours on average. Longevity wise and projection. Um, it gives sort of light to medium projection for the first hour and it starts to die down after that and sort of hover above the skin a few inches for a bit longer and then becomes a skin scent. It really isn't the strongest. But with this one, this is one of these ones you can sort of over apply. I mean, I'll just demonstrate here. Put a bit more on. Yeah, I can start to smell that hitting there. So if you put on a bit more sprays, not just one spray, you'll probably get better performance. So... How many sprays with this one? I'm going to recommend about five sprays, um, give or take, adjust for the weather. So, five sprays of this one, I think, would work fine. Just adjust. Colder weather, more sprays, hotter weather, less. I should make that into a song. Colder weather, more sprays, hotter weather, less. If you don't do that, then you're not going to be the best. Oh, yeah. Okay, that sucks. I should, I should really not quit my day job that I currently don't have. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, um... How many sprays? I think five is about fine. Five or six should be fine. Average it out. So age group with this one. What age can you wear this? I think you can wear this in your 20s. I think this is a perfect scent for when you turn 20. You're out of your teenage years. You're starting to grow up and become a man. Old people say you're 21 is when you're officially a man. Yeah, well those people can fuck off. 20 is when you're out of your teenage years. 20 is when you're a man. 25 is when you're... 20 is when you're a young man. 25 is when you're a man. 35s and you're starting to get a bit of an older man and then 40 plus you need to start wearing your raunchy gentleman daily all the time maybe some lapidus lucky bastard but um yeah 
20 and up. I think I should work fine after that. I don't see as a sort of age limit on this. I mean, if I smelt someone at 20 wearing this and someone at 60 wearing it, I don't think it would um, be too bad. Age-wise, 20 seems to be the sort of minimum. And after that, you're fine. Bit too mature. Bit um, more mature smelling for sort of 16 age. For a sort of teenager. Just a little bit. But yeah, it's Truity. They are a bit more of a sort of mature house. In some of the scents. Not all of them, but um, they are sort of aimed at adults more than anyone else so let's move on so situ situation season wise where can you wear this i think this would work excellent and i mean this in spring this is the perfect spring scent um i mean everything i think of it's got freshness to it i keep saying mint but there's no mint in it i look at the notes and i'm sort of i don't know what the fuck i'm meant to be smelling to me it's just a sort of minty fruity leather berry leather with some mint that's it you know, it's almost like forest fruits in a way. Almost. With the woods and stuff. Yeah. I think spring, definitely. A nippy, cold spring day. It's not freezing. You know, winter's passed. It's moved on. It's still cold, but not freezing. No snow. Just nippy cold. Um, spring. Um, colder weather, yes. But my only downside is the performance. Performance might ruin this for colder weather. Snowy, windy day, unless you put on a lot of sprays, it might get um, killed off. Wind is the one thing that will kill your fragrance. Wind, rain, snow, whew, it'll be gone. So if you apply on your clothes, your jacket, it should be okay. But I personally recommend it for spring. Wouldn't really work too well in summer, but if you did want to wear it to summer, you know the rule. Don't go putting on 50 sprays and then going, Oh, it'd be so cloying! <laughs> I'm so cloying! <laughs> You're such an idiot! <laughs> yeah. So, just one spray, but I personally think spring is the season to wear this. Now, enough about the season. I've been going on for that, about that for about two minutes now. These videos are long enough as it is. So, situation-wise, where can you wear this one? Can you wear this to work? Yes. I think it's going to work really well in an office environment. Um, you know, really smart, white, clean white shirt. Um, similar to Individuel by Mont Blanc. Um, that sort of environment, you know, office environment, formal wear, I think it's what fine. It's got a subtlety to it. It's still loud enough to get noticed, not loud enough to stink out the place. It's got nice longevity. Projection's not bad. You can apply more if you want a bit more projection for colder weather. Work fine. For a date, yes. In fact, this has a sort of versatility to it. It's light enough that you can wear it on a casual date to the cinema, or even if you're just going to like um, Nando's or something. Or if you're going for a sort of romantic date, you're going to a restaurant, you know, having wine and stuff, uh, fine dining. It worked really well with that. You're dressed up and such, yeah. It's really classy and it would work fine for that. Clubbing, not so much. Maybe a sort of upmarket club. But again, the performance, you're not exactly going to have people in the club going, wow, you smell fantastic. Let's fuck. Not going to happen because it won't be able to smell you because it will be getting drowned out. This sort of scent um, is really nice. I don't think it would benefit from a sort of club scene. Um, the subtlety in there is meant to be subtle, you know. It's not like La Nuit de Lome where it was strong and now it's been watered down. It was made this way out the bottle. See, a good giveaway is the longevity is good. If the longevity is good, most of the time it's on fucking purpose, you know. If you can still smell it in your hand, just saying. So, this one uh, works not so much the club scene. I don't think it was really made for the club scene, to be quite honest. Like I said, Chiruti sort of aim for the adult market with their scents. If you look at them, a lot of them aren't really aimed at teenagers, like Pac Ruban and such. So, yeah. So, casual wear. You get a leather jacket on. Like I said, casually I think it should work. What I mean by casually is smart. So, like, casual as in you've got a nice shirt on. Like, if I wore this shirt here with a leather jacket and some nice jeans, um either smart trainers or shoes or something, that would work fine. But if I wore it with, say, an Adidas tracksuit, not so much. You know, that's one thing I need to sort of um, mention more in my view is my definition of casual wear because tracksuit could be casual, hoodie could be casual, and, you know, Armani leather jacket and Chiruti shirt could be casual. So, you know, um, so sort of smart casual is what I'm about with. Formal event, you're dressed up, you've got a wedding, you've got works night out, you've got um, even an interview or something where you need to look and smell good. This would be perfect. This complements a suit perfectly. It's got that subtlety to it. You will get noticed if you're not getting enough performance, put on more sprays. Um, I'm getting more, a wee bit more performance after applying a second spray. 
So if you put on, say, six to eight sprays, I think that'd be a great, nice aura of performance. You would leave a nice trail without being too strong. My personal um, experience. For a suit, this is made for a suit. Chiruti are famous for their suits. Nino Chiruti, he was the guy that trained Giorgio Armani. So Chiruti, when it comes to suits, their fragrances go hand in hand. Their suits are quality, their fragrances are quality. There's no reason not to own both, or at least one of them. So yeah, for a suit, definitely. So let's on to Chiruti, a sort of unappreciated gem. Doesn't seem to get a lot of attention, and it certainly deserves it. For the price, fantastic. Can't believe I'm actually praising a scent that doesn't have beast mode performance. Wow, how amazing. Never saw that one coming. But um, it really, the quality is just outstanding. Excellent scent. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, and if you have any questions on this scent, feel free to leave them in the comments. Or send me a YouTube message. If you don't happen to have a Google Plus account and you still want to know uh, some stuff, you can send me a message on Facebook. There's a Facebook link on my channel banner. And as always, guys, the golden rule... Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and keep on smelling fly.